Alright guys, here we go, Series 2 of the Street Fighter 4 figures by NECA. First off, I already threw the package away, but let's take a look at the back of the artwork. Just like the other characters in, this, in the last series and this series, the front of it has the silu silhouette of Guile. And each character has their own, like Ryu with Ryu, Ken with Ken and all that. There goes this little bio thing. Let's take a look at that. Right now that we All right now that we took a look at that, let's take a look at the toy itself. You can see he has a lot of good details already, which is pretty much common with NECA and, and which is pretty common with NECA and McFarlane figures. Detail wise, paint wise, he looks good, except for spots here and there, like right about here, paint scratches and chip, to chip offs. But other than that, the paint job has been pretty good on mine, even on the flags. The only one problem I have with him is the face sculpt, which is right here. Overall, it's nicely detailed, but it looks more more monkey like than it does guile there's the dog tags and that's pretty much it for the art for the details articulation are as follows this is head movement and a little bit side to side arms oh yeah arms shoulders not sure what they call this, but it's kind of like the body movement, shoulder kind of thing. Then he has the bicep up here, which does which rotates all the way around. Double jointed elbows. This is a single joint right here. Double jointed is like that. He has the wrist. Which have pretty good motion on it because you pop it off, it's a ball joint. It has ab articulation, waist, legs, which go to about that far, and like that. He has the mid thigh, double jointed knees, which I'm not going to move because mine are pretty stiff. The foot, ankle, and then toes. Which again, mine are stiff. There you go. Some of the joints of mine are still pretty stiff, so can't really move them all for you guys. But that's it for articulation. Accessories is the same thing as Ryu and Ken. It's just hands. Comes with two opened hands, left hand and right hand, and two fists. Left hand, right hand. As you see already, they're already connected by ball joints. So all you gotta do is just take a hand that you want, line it up, and pop it in. Easy enough. So that's it for his, uh, for his uh, accessories. Just like with the other characters, like I've been saying, it would have been nice if he came with his power up. So it would have been nice if he had his little, his little sonic boom move. But oh well. Here we go with the size comparison between Ken from Series 1. You can see right there, he's already taller than Ken. You can see right there, he's actually taller. You can pick these up at like FYE, Toys R Us, and. For me, that's, those are the only places I've seen these toys available. You can also go on, online, check them out for like a higher prices, but eBay, Amazon, 
Big Bad Toy Store, and all the other places like that. You can expect to pay between $13.99 to $16.99 per character. Just depends on where you pick them up. If you pick them up online, of course, if you pick them up, pick them up online, it's of course going to be a little bit more plus the shipping. Is Gal worth picking up? If you're a Gal fan, yes, he's worth picking up. Of course. If you're a Street Fighter fan, if you want to have them all, then of course he's worth picking up. As a standalone character by himself, I say he's still worth picking up because he's pretty good. Nice, 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 a lot of nice details, good paint job, good sculpts. Everything looks pretty good. The hands pop in, pop in and out really easy. They don't fall out. The only real problems I had with this guy was, of course, the face sculpt and his stiffness in some of the joints, mainly the knees and the uh, toes. But other than that, Gal's been pretty good. So yeah, if you see him around, be sure to pick him up. He's a really good character and he's a nice little addition to your Street Fighter collection. Pick him up if you see him. One little thing I forgot to mention about Guile, there's actually two versions of him out. There's this one here, and there's another one of him as a, I believe it's Dan, which was the San Diego, San Diego Comic Con exclusive for the 2009. So yeah, if you want to get them all, you have to get two Guiles. Basically, it's the same kind of character, same body, same head sculpt, but he has a different paint job on his outfit. And he also comes with like a little vest coat thing. But yeah, it does look pretty good, but I probably won't be picking it up anytime soon.